Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Garrett, and welcome back to Atomic Heart on the PlayStation 5. So, well, Last major, episode, we ended well. up catching up with Petrov, and, um, well, he ended up, uh, uh, deleting himself. <laughs> Gotta keep that careful. Uh, but, uh, we're heading off. We, we collected his head. Uh, we turned that in. But I want to upgrade... I think I can upgrade the snowball. Run upgraded, I think. So I can uh, kill an enemy restores a dodge charge. What? What's two? Can I look at two? Grants more energy per hit. Wow. Okay. What's three? P three can't be knocked down by an enemy attack. Holy jeez. Grants temporary protection. Okay, we might upgrade it again. Hold on. Increases attack speed. Accelerates special attack recharge. Well, increases attack speed is always good. Energy bonus. I don't have enough for that. Do I have enough for the... Uh... I do. When landing a hit, P3 can dodge, cannot be knocked down by a dodge. Oh, that's nice. Got here. Wow, this is the first time that I've uh, done horrible at this. Beater. No, oh, that's it. Got a shortcut back. Did you enjoy the show? Thank you. Please come again. Come back soon. We're expecting an amazing new batch of robots for your entertainment. The next shell will be even more interesting. Please come back here for a sequel. I see you enjoyed the show so much. You can leave to purchase a ticket. Please go to the ticket booth at the other end of the foyer. Don't forget the snack bar. Please proceed to the bar. Did you leave anything in the coat check room? Please proceed into the restroom. Leave this place! Shut the door. Major P3, I'm waiting for you in the Pavlov complex. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No. Filatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? Two rings with better one and better two engraved on the inside? No, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. Everybody's wanting these rings. How goes it, Sonny? Still in one piece? Hey, Granny. Yeah. Zina. Long time no see. I've definitely had better days, but yeah. I guess I'm still in one piece. Did I hear right? You finally got that bastard Petrov. Well, nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah, I got him. Actually, he kind of got himself before I could get him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this will all be over soon. Then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zena. Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. By the way, uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved <clears throat> gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov? No. I didn't, Granny Zena. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Oh, that's okay. You just watch yourself, Sonny. Stop by if you need anything. Thank you, Granny. She's so cool. 
Why have you deceived everyone, Comrade Major? Petrov gave you those rings before he died. Everyone else is deceiving you. Even Dr. Sechenov, and I never saw it coming. On what basis have you drawn this conclusion? I just thought about what Petrov told me. Would you kindly be more specific? Petrov said combat mode was programmed into the bots during construction. He couldn't possibly have reprogrammed them all himself. It's true, goddammit. And why is that? Because Petrov was a pussy. He was a programmer, not a fighter. But these robots know how to fight. He couldn't have programmed them because he doesn't know the first thing about combat. That Natasha was armed with fucking missiles. Where'd it get him, huh? It's a construction robot. Petrov couldn't have armed it with missile launchers. He's not ah. an engineer. He couldn't have hacked into the robot plant and started changing shit around. He fooled the central hub and made it think innocent people were an invading army. That's it. Hell yeah. So why would a construction bot have built-in missile launchers, huh? Why would a civilian trofa have a damn railgun? Or an owl a machine gun? The signs are everywhere. Just like you said. Where am I going? Different perspectives. Unfortunately, after analyzing your logic, I am forced to draw the same conclusion. Especially since your suspicions are more justified than you know. What do you mean? Exactly that. Listen to this recording. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water. To my profound chagrin, I failed to pay sufficient attention to the phrase, robots can be switched to combat mode. I took it as a colorful expression Molotov used to cast dispersions upon Dr. Sechenov. But it's clear that Molotov was speaking literally. The Politburo knew from the very beginning that Soviet civilian robots had a combat mode. The, the Atomic Heart Project. Petrov wasn't lying. And Henry Cavendish. Sechenov and the Politburo want to conquer the U.S. and the entire world. So what are you going to do now? Think. Charles, why does everyone want those rings so bad? You mean the beta connectors? Because they work, but are also considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there, not even collective after the launch. Especially not collective after the launch. For collective, anyone connected via the beta connectors will simply not exist. But they'll be able to see collective. Yes, all of it. A person with a beta connector will not be able to influence collective from the inside since they won't exist for Collective. But they will know about everything that happens inside it, just like any officially connected human or robot. But can't an officially connected human or robot disconnect from Collective if they want to? They can just take their thought device off, right? I believe so, yes. You believe so? So you're not sure? Or is there something you're not telling me? I have no data, Comrade Major. But no one can stop a person from removing his or her thought device. It's worn on the head not implanted in the skull. That's good, I guess. We now have access to the scientific testing ground, Comrade Major. You can find valuable weapons in such locations in the future. Yeah, okay. I know your science shit. All you do is deceive honest citizens with the concept of a bright future. No comment. Outstanding. Let's go take a look at the gear that'll help me see tomorrow. That moves. I was like, okay, I'm stuck down here. Got not far with it. <laughs> I 
Okay. We gotta find a way to get over there. We gotta... Right, one more. That's how we had it. Okay. Wait, hold on. Okay. Never mind. Is that what we needed? No, because that doesn't get us anywhere. Oh, that might get us there, actually. Let's go to here. Oh, God. That was not what I wanted to do. Can't get on that. Hmm. Not really sure on this one. I'm wondering, well, because we got through this, so I would assume that this has nothing to do with us anymore. What's the next one? There's a door down there. What's that door? No, this is, okay, this is how we were. Yeah. I know this probably is not what I was expecting to do this episode, trust me. But we're here. You never know what you're going to find. I feel like that has to be where we have to be, right? Because that's got a door that's literally leading to the other side. Oh, that's right. I can do that. How do we get over there? <laughs> huh. 
Where's that? Hold on. Where's that? Can I not get to that twist thing? Hmm. <clears throat> Yet again, I feel like we're right there. Problem is, I don't know if I, how well we can get back. Probably could get there back. Hmm. But I feel like we're missing another twist in here. Like we need to tw turn it again. Again, I don't think I can turn. I don't know if I'm doing this right at all. I have no fucking clue. Did that did I really get through all that? Holy shit. What, what, what did we do all this for? Hi. <laughs> what is that? Oh! Exp oh, we got a new weapon mod. You're fun. Totally worth it. We only spent about 20 minutes doing it. But fun. I mean, I really had no idea what I was doing the whole time. It was flailing, but uh, that's a plus. Did we make it back out? Oh, yeah, we did. Look at that. Please select huh. the desired procedure. Take a look at upgrade. See what it takes to upgrade that now. Clash. Uh, was that the barrel? Yeah. Increased damage to organics. Increases damage. Increases accuracy. Oh my. And really nothing much to spend. Okay, do it. Yeah. Cool. I'll take that. Hell yeah. Where the hell am I now? Along with the might of the Soviet army, our great nation's climate is regarded as one of the decisive factors that thwarted invading Western powers time and time again. However, Soviet scientists have now demonstrated that low temperatures also protect against up, nerd? diseases and epidemics. Acting as a natural filter, frost removes dust particles in the air and briefly kills 
Shut up. Anybody else? I need one of those. I can tell that. How do I get it in there? I don't know how I get up there now. Okay, maybe I'm jumping ahead on things. Let's f let's finish clearing out enemies first, and then we'll worry about that. How do I get in there? Maybe from this roof? Can't get through there. Ah! 
There we go. What's up, nerd? Hey! There we go. Big ol' cut a puddle of guys in here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and pause it there. We'll continue it in the next episode to keep things going. And, oh, God, uh, figure this out here. And, yeah, hope to see everybody there. So thank you all for watching. Really do appreciate it. If you can't give the video a like, it does help me out quite a bit. Also, check out the channel because I have tons of videos going on over there. And until next time, you guys, stay frosty.